if you're going to play something like Mech Shaman and you're guaranteed to get two Druid matchups, he'd be ecstatic. Yeah, I, that's the one matchup I think he's looking for. But it sounds like we've got Purple on the line to get some of his insight into this match. Purple, can you hear us? Yeah. Well, congratulations on your win tonight over Super JJ. Uh, both of you guys, meant, you mentioned last night that both of you two were similar in play styles and that you expected kind of the same thing going on. And then we saw three Mech Shaman decks between you two. Talk to us about this choice. What's going on? I think uh, I, I know I respect JJ a lot as a rogue player, and I think it's kind of mutual. And I think I, for me personally anyways, I think it's a bit of a fear of queuing the rogue mirror and kind of it's like an ego battle, and if you lose that matchup, it's going to feel shitty. So I think, personally, I didn't want to bring Rogue because I didn't want to lose to JJ's Rogue with Rogue. So sort of, sort of what I was thinking with that one, too. The last one you want to be in is facing that down. But you both are so good at Rogue. Like I just, it's just what I wanted to see was that beautiful mirror match. Yeah, it's one of my favorite matchups in all of Hearthstone, but I don't want to lose to JJ in the Rogue mirror. <laughs> Almost like the gentleman's agreement not to do it to each other there. <laughs> Why so much Druid in this matchup, too? Was there a reason you think both of y'all were, you know, going to that class so much? So, in past, past tournaments, or past uh, PvP matches, uh, JJ's been queuing a lot of Druid and a lot of Rogue. So, I just brought Rogue with a lot of weapon destruction, and I was just hoping to draw well. So, only neither of us actually even left the, the deck building screen. Like, we just stuck with the decks we had pre-made. I, I brought... Druid and Mech, and Mech Shaman, I had nothing else prepared, and I was not about to change that. Wow, just wow. I mean, this had so much respect, I think, being said between you two, that you had your strategy set, and you don't want to tinker with him and make some adjustment that you're going to regret afterwards. Yep, yeah, pretty much. He, he, uh, he tried to bum rush to Druid, which is actually usually a good strategy, but I, I got Wild Grew up two of, the, two of the four games, and I got Innervate the other one, so... I got lucky with Druid. Wow. <laughs> you're going to draw him pretty often. Uh, and so now I want to visit some of your future matches. Uh, you're looking with a great record now. It's 7-3 and three, uh, in HPL. You have five matches left. And, uh, is it 7-3 or is it 8-3? Um, He's 8-3, and think. Oh, you're 8-3 and three right yeah. now. That's even That's more wins right than I thought. That's right, Admirable. 8-3. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies. My apologies. Trying to short change you over here. But, I mean, looking poised to make the top eight here. Is there any of the matchups that you're not looking forward to facing? Is there anyone you're afraid of? Anyone that you're specifically preparing for? Talk to us about your future opponents. Uh, there's one match I'm really looking forward to, and that's against my teammates in LA. Yeah. I want to hear some shots fired. Tell me what's going to happen to that match. I want to hear you say that you're just going to stomp him. <laughs> or it's going to happen reverse. Listen, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm going to beat him in the patron mirror, but I'm going to beat him in the patron mirror. <laughs> yes. Whoa, yes, Nelly. I love it. I love it. Gosh, he's going to run down the hallway right now and yell at <laughs> purple afterwards. Well, again, look, looking poised to make top eight. You've been putting on a fantastic performance. And, uh, you know, is, is there anything that you're... Is there anything that you're scared of at all in this matchup? I mean, you have this is such a stacked field. You both have mentioned the respect you have for players. There has to be somebody that you're not looking forward to playing against. Uh, I think you asked me this last time. I said dog, and I don't want to lose the dog again. Losing the dog sucks because <laughs> he he lives he lives near me, and he can rub it in my face. It's just like losing to Zelay, pretty much. So he doesn't want to lose to anyone in the same geographical region. <laughs> Pretty that he's much. In. All right, I got it. So what happens when you're here during the top eight? You're gonna get it rubbed in your face by anyone who gets you there. Oh, that's why I'm not gonna lose in top eight. I love Whoa, it. I love yeah. it. If you lose in top eight, I'm gonna rub it in your face and I'm gonna tweet about it and let everybody know. <laughs> I probably deserve it at this point. <laughs> that's very true. Well, congratulations on your win tonight. Again, looking fantastic so far. You keep up this kind of work, you're gonna put yourself as one of the absolutely one of the best players in the world, no question about it. Congratulations again. Thank you.